The color settings in Photoshop are often overlooked, but with just a few changes to the defaults, we can avoid color issues down the road. We're going to go back to our old friend, the Edit menu. Scroll down to Color Settings. Note that to the right of Color Settings, we've got a keyboard shortcut command of Shift Control K on a Windows machine, Shift Command K on a Mac. This is the keyboard shortcut that you can use to directly invoke the Color Settings dialog. So as you're reaching up and pulling down menus, keep an eye on the keyboard shortcut commands where available, and if you find yourself going to the same menu numerous times, you can start using that keyboard shortcut. It saves a ton of time. Here we are in color settings. I want to start with a preset, North America General Purpose 2. If you don't see that in this pull down, simply click, open it up, and select North America General Purpose 2. We're just going to make a couple of changes. For working spaces under RGB, we're going to set it to Adobe RGB 1998, a much bigger color space than sRGB. For gray, we're going to use Gray Gamma 2.2, very common working space for grayscale images. And color management policies, these all look great at Preserve Embedded Profiles. What we are going to do is check the Missing Profiles Ask When Opening box. If we ever get an image that does not have a profile, doesn't have Adobe RGB 1998, Gray Gamma 2.2, sRGB, what have you, it's good for us to know about that because then we're going to have to make a couple of decisions about how to handle that image. Now, under settings at the top, since we've made some changes, notice that it says custom. And if you don't want to have to remember these settings and keep reapplying them in case they get messed up, you can simply go to this Save button. We'll click Save. Give your file a name. We could call this Total Training, for example. Photoshop has already set this up to save in a special settings folder so it knows where to look for it and simply hit the save button and you've got this custom color settings saved that you can reuse anytime you need it. For now we're going to just hit cancel but we are going to hit OK so that we can continue working with these settings.